Okay, so today's uh, video we are going to be talking about going from isometric drawings to orthographic drawings. In your ILM it'll be 21104B, which is right here, and it's called single line drawing. I'm going to be starting on page 9, which is kind of where it starts. And this first video is going to be um, talking about some of the steps that we're going to focus mostly on converting an isometric into a top or plan view. And then the next few videos will be doing front and right side. But for now, we're going to start kind of with our steps and how we want to go about doing this. So I'm just going to write over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Go with black. And we're going to do our steps kind of up here. So if you want to write these steps, they're going to be handy for you if, uh, you know, if you start struggling on some of this, you can look back at some of these notes. So step one, we always want to put in all of our compasses. Okay. And we will do that shortly. Step two, we're going to draw the plan view. Okay. In that plan view, we have a couple little steps and we are going to remember to use the compasses. Next one, we are going to pick a good starting point. And I believe this, this step is step is very crucial it's going to help you a lot and then the third one is going to be fitting lines and then the other steps will be kind of uh, tied to the front view and the right side view but for now we're going to stick with uh, this top view okay so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get this isometric into an orthographic and an orthographic is going to have three different uh, views or drawings and like I said, it's the top or the plan the front and the right We know this is an isometric because these horizontal lines are all going at a 30 degree angle Okay, this is a vertical line going straight up and down But the horizontals are actually going at a 30 degree angle We also know this is an isometric because it's one drawing. Okay, so we're going to convert it to the three drawings But for this video, we're going to stick with the plan view so one of the things that I, I like doing um, just to keep in habit is to draw a stick person. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a stick person. Uh, we'll just go with a blue one over here. And this just indicates a direction that we're looking whenever we're doing a different view. So plan view is we're always looking down. We're above something looking down on it. So uh, and again, the, the plan view is it can be referred to as top as well. Okay, so top or plan. So we're always looking down on the drawing. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a little box over here. And this is going to be our plan view drawing. We're gonna draw it inside the box. Okay, so if we're looking at the steps, step one says compasses. So let's put in our compasses. So I'm gonna make this red. Okay, so we have two different compasses that we're going to use on this. We have the isometric compass, which pertains to this drawing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to erase that last one and we're going to put in our compass and we want to put in all the directions. So north, south, west, east, and up and down. That south doesn't look very good. Okay, so that is our compass that we use for this isometric drawing. Okay, but when we're talking about a plan view drawing and we get into orthographic drawing, we use a different compass. So I'm going to go back to this blue drawing or this blue writing and I'm going to put in this compass. Okay, so this is what our arrow or compass looks like when we're talking about ortho. Okay, so this is the compass we use. The red one is for ISO, okay? So if you look here, you can kind of see 
basically any line that's going north south is just going to get rotated so that north south looks like it's going up and down okay so that's essentially what we're going to be doing so let's just look at uh doing the orthographic drawing okay so we we put in our compasses and now we're going to start with our plan view which is this and it says use compasses so we're going to use our compasses in, in conjunction like i've been saying and then the next point is pick a good starting point. And what I mean by that is whatever view we are, in this case, plan view, we want to pick a spot that's closest to us. And I always like to start with an end. So let's just reference these as A, B, or C. Okay. If this was a drawing, this piece of pipe right here and this piece of pipe would be on the same elevation. But as soon as we come here, it starts going down. So all these are actually further away from us than this pipe. This pipe would all be closer to us than this pipe right here as it goes down. That makes sense. So C is not going to be a good option for us. We don't want to start at C. It's going to be a little bit harder to draw this. So I would pick A or B. And in this case, it doesn't really matter. So we can go with A or B. I'm going to start with B. Okay. So what is happening right here with this pipe as it's going this this direction well if i look over here on my compass that's south to north right so when i transfer it to an orthographic drawing i'm just going to draw a pipe going south to north and if i look at this compass that's just straight up and down so i go over here and i draw my piece of pipe going straight up okay roughly in the middle of that vertical pipe or this or this pipe right here sorry i meant vertical as in this going vertical but it's not actually vertical roughly in the middle of this pipe it heads this way which is going west to east if i look on my compass west to east so roughly in the middle of this first piece of pipe it goes west to east so roughly in the middle of that pipe so let's just say right here it goes west to east so if I go right here, I can draw my piece of pipe going west to east. So that takes care of that piece. Okay. And now imagine if we were high enough uh, with our guy here looking down, would we see this pipe right here? No, we would not. Okay. Because this elbow right here would be blocking the view of our pipe. So we see the back of an elbow. And we know from past uh, learning in ILMs that the back of an elbow is symbolized with a circle with a line going halfway through it. So a circle with a line going halfway through it shows back of elbow. Now we know back of elbow on a plan view means a pipe is going down. So that's good. So now we've done, you know, we've plan view where you've used our compasses, we picked a good starting point and we've drawn it. And now the last step right here is going to be to put in our fitting lines. Okay, so our fitting lines, um, the rule of thumb here is we have to keep our fitting lines parallel to the pipe that it's joining. Okay, so this is a vertical piece. Okay, so our fitting lines is showing a T here. We know that we have a T right here, right here. So we're going to put in a T over here. And again, the pipe, the fitting lines have to be parallel to the pipe it's joining. So this is going vertical. So this fitting line will look vertical. Okay, this pipe is going vertical, this is horizontal, so our fitting line right here has to be horizontal to this pipe right here. Same with this one. Okay, so that shows our T. That's what we see right here. Okay, and then we do see this fitting line when we're looking down, so that's going to come right here, and it's going to look just the same as this one over here. So we have a vertical fitting line there. And then this one right here, we do not see because it's blocked by the back of an elbow. So we only see the one, two, three, four fitting lines. And I see one, two, three, four fitting lines. So everything kind of checks out. And that would be kind of the last step in drawing our plan view. And then we would just carry on with drawing the front and right side view, but that'll be on the next video.